Hey, good Sunday morning, YouTube, Hugmeister's Garage and Workshop. Uh, did a little upgrading to our uh, uh, solar system at the garage. Added a new uh, 30 amp uh, charge controller, MPP Smart Solar, so it ties into our GX system. And we added three more panels outside. It gives us a little more buffer during the days where we're not getting full sun so our inverter isn't swatch or swapping back to uh, uh, line voltage as much which is nice because I've got this set for I think it goes down to like a 15 20 percent drawdown and then it goes back to line voltage and then it charges back up to 80 percent before my batteries take over again we got 500 amp hour uh, batteries on there individually fused I just left some uh, quick connects on the panels coming in so if I want to charge my uh, oh my portable power packs I can just plug them right into the panels coming in that way I got a disconnect outside and I added another 30 amp breaker it goes to the charge bank but I'll take you outside and I'll show you the panels we added so we'll be back okay outside now here's our big bank that's 2,000 watts worth of panels and that's the 600 watts I added those are rich solar 24 volt panels and those have performed really good I tried some other ones but I I just don't get the same output as I do with these eventually I'm gonna have to make some longer arms off these because I had to mount them vertically for that space I had but if I get some longer arms I can get a little better uh, angle on them but actually when the sun's low when it's coming up when it's setting that's when i get the most out of these anyway so i mean i get constant power out of them like i say it's taking that uh that uh intermittent thing where we lose our solar output for a couple days when it's not sunny so it stays on solar more than utility which is what i want but this runs our heat, uh, my lights and stuff in the garage, and it runs the wood boiler and the circ pump in the house. So there you go, guys. More upgrades.